I I muted. Yeah, I'm not muted anymore. Hello, everybody. It's Sid Mad Haven here today. Uh, today I want to take a look at the Amex 65 ton. Go over a couple things, and I want to clear up something. But before we jump into that, there's one thing I need to take care of first. And Bean, I want to see more than two matches played. I want to see at least ten. Come on, something simple, right? Anyways, I'd say like, um, a while ago, whenever they first buffed the uh, French, I stopped and I said that the buff on the Amex 65 ton might be a tad too much. I would like to go over that and clear up the reasons why I say I feel like it'd be a tad too much. So for those of you guys who aren't um, aware of this, the buff that was on the Amex 65 ton was almost a year ago. So yeah, about a year ago, maybe a little bit longer than that. Now, let's actually jump into this and I'm going to share why. So the buffs that they did to the Amex 65 ton, they were no small buffs. I kind of feel like it may have jumped the bar, but now that it's been out for a while and it's been in the game for a lot longer and there's some people who grind out this tank, on PC this is known as like one of the worst tanks to play because it's just bad. People don't like it. Um, but the changes that they've made might be good, but at the same time, super powerful. For instance... The 245 pin, the 285 APCR pin, this is the top tier gun on the tier 9 as well. And then whenever we go over to PC, take a look at PC here, we're actually going to be taking a look at the gun. We have 252 premium pin with 218 standard penetration. So those penetration jumps are actually massive. Not to mention, whenever we go over to the 3D model here, we're looking at 220. Well, over on console, we're looking at 250. On the outskirts, we're looking at 160, while console is exactly the same, especially on the hatch here with 160. Uh, looking at 200 millimeters right here, that's 200. The hatch, a lot of the things essentially look the same, except for the hull armor. A lot of people, you know, like this is something for me that kind of made me go, oh, that's a bump. So on console, this is 100, and then rather than this being 100 millimeters, this is actually 135 millimeters thick so to give you guys an idea this is effective like 210 millimeters of armor rather than the 163 that we see here and as this thing angles that's getting thicker thing is on console we should be able to maintain slight angles like this and maintain 240 millimeters of effective armor to 250 millimeters of effective armor look at the outskirt being auto ricochet and with ours being 100 this is probably in the range of like 270 to 265 while this is also in that range as well around the same armor platform and the further that we go you guys start to see where i'm going with this the armor and then on the top here looking at 60 console is the same at 60 so heat heat should not struggle with this piece right here but that's about it um other than that side armor looking at 80 millimeters uh down low we're looking at 60 80 consoles exactly the same on that Top armor wise, though, we're looking at 30 millimeters in both console and PC. Uh, under armor, though, we're looking at 20 right here. Console is the same at 20, so can't really over pull anything because of how massive this tank is. Pulling up and over is kind of a death trap. But whenever you're hauled down and utilizing that maximum gun depression, you're going to see this. Looking at 190 millimeters of effective armor. Auto ricochet off the uh, driver's hatch here. A little bit of auto ricochet here, 216. On console, this will be around 220, a little bit of auto ricochet, but this armor right here is what's going to stand out. This is going to be in the range of like 240 millimeters effective armor because of the 135. And uh, yeah, that was kind of my issue with it. But other than that, let's go ahead and dive into some matches and go at it a little bit and just go nuts and see what we can do. An improper French attire at that. And as the match is loading in, there's another thing I wanted to go over. They also redid the accuracy during turret rotation on the 1.21, which is a massive advantage. I don't see a point in using vertical stabilizers on this or anything to really benefit this. Gun depression at 8 degrees, 13 degrees of elevation. It's honestly not bad, even though that elevation is not super good. 16.92 uh, power to weight is going to really help us maintain that 40 top speed and 15 reverse. 15 is really nice to see. Terrain resistance, off-road driving is always good. Uh, 27 degrees of uh, hull rotation along with 24 degrees of turret. So it is a bit slow on that part. Uh, view range 380. Shell velocity though, you're looking at 1067, 1334, 1067. And we're already inside of a match right here. Overlord against tier 10s. Worst possible matchmaking, but there's no tier 10 heavy, so that might actually make a little bit of a difference here. Let's actually go ahead and push up on this left side. 
I enjoy playing on the left. And honestly, this is one of those tanks where it's like, yes, there's a lot of premium loaded. But you know what? Pinning 10 standard rounds, that's 4,000 damage if you can get these to go through. So, anything past these 10 rounds is just extra icing on top. Plus, if you end up against tier 10s with how common they are against this kind of tier, I don't see much of an issue with it. So what do we got right here? Leopard 1. We do have to watch out, though, because, uh, sure, we do have this nice, decently thick armor. But Centurion EVREs kind of don't care how thick your armor is. They're just going to splash you for 600. And EBR 105. Even though we saw that Traverse Speed was only... What was it? 27? Yeah, 27. Look at this. It feels really snappy. For a heavy tank, it's really snappy. Alrighty, 257. Not really super worried about this. Leopard 1. T30 taking a little bit of a hit here, so we're just going to pull up. Wait. Honestly, though, this tank does suffer against heat, however. But with the way that the armor is angled and the way that how big the tank is, there's a couple of things to watch out for. Heat rounds is definitely one of them. Unless you can kind of partially overexpose your frontal armor. Uh, I want to be a little bit careful right here because the Panzer. Uh, it's Panzer. The waffle off in the distance. Tier 9. BR 105. Leopard. Still a lot of the same. Okay. Doesn't seem like much is going to be happening right here. I, might, I actually might want to fall back in the mid and pull it from there. And pulling up the mid. Let's go ahead and trip up on the right side here. I enjoy playing in mid. Um, thing is, like, depending on the size of the tank, I prefer low-profile tanks in mid more than I do tanks like this, just because of the size difference. Go. Oh, sad fit. Never mind, AVRE. Uh, goodbye, Leopard. You were deleted. Oh, look, another Leopard. 416. Honestly, a little bit of a low-end shot right there for me, but it landed. 257, what are you doing? 363. Decent reload, though, for 400 alpha, and then the penetration that this thing offers. Oh my, what is going on this match? A lot of things I'm not expecting to see, but it's happening. Hello? Ayo! Hey <laughs> WZ 132. Honestly, that's tier nine. The tier eight. I'm a Muppet. Tier nine's a different name. Oh, tells you guys how much I know. Uh oh. Cause a little bit of pressure on the cap, but it's not gonna matter because all the guys are down here. TL7 Black, only tier nine premium to actually have a 25% bonus to its earn. Just cool and all, but still, it's kind of like whoa. I actually want to see if we can try and get at least a ricochet from a decent gun inside this match, but i got this feeling that's not going to happen. 436, not bad. Not a slow match, but not bad. I would not call this a bad match at all. However, that shot, that was pretty bad. You know what? Wait a minute. We're up here. <gasps> oh, I know exactly what I have to do. We're going to back up. Light tank. Alright. We gotta make this count. Tiger 2. <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> Save me! <laughs> I definitely miscalculated how far I could fly. Uh, 65 tons is definitely not light enough to move more than 10 meters off a cliff. Alright, another matchup against Tier 10s, and this time there's actually some heavies in the new team. IS-4, Rosarante, Centurion AVRE, EBR-105. Is that the same guy? It is the same guy, okay. Some late night gameplay, a lot of the same people. Honestly, I'm probably going to be working on the uh, AMX-65 ton, and I kind of want to get a 3 mark on this. Just so I can pull it out and be like, yes, look at how happy I am. It's only 13 degrees of it, but I'll, I'll salute with a... I'll try and get 3 marks on this. Um, usually, t uh, tech tree tanks normally don't get that high of a damage standing, so if you guys really want to, um, I could probably just take a guess off the top of my head and maybe say 2600 for the 3 mark on this, which, honestly, with the penetration that it has, 
There should be a lot more uh, as I'm talking about it. I'm actually quickly searching up my last match, which was not the greatest. Uh, yeah, it's 2762. I was really close, and I'm averaging um, 2775. Not bad, but that's out of 54 matches, too. So, yeah. Um, if you guys want to, I don't know, get an easy three mark, play a tech tree. Tech trees, people got to grind through them stock, and it honestly makes it a lot easier. Plus, it'll make you feel pretty good about yourself. Rather than trying to three mark a Turan, which we all know how that's going to work out. I think it's like 5,000 something right now. Uh, ooh, AVRE. I definitely want to put a punish round down there. 420. Nice. Blade approves. Okay, IS-4. No early c catches. There's no artillery this match either, which is going to make this nice. We're looking at a tank. Like, the, the actual tank tank, light tank. Not a tank as in, like, oh, it's a tank. No, the light tank. Just, I had to make that clear. You're going to be loading in the premium. Uh, I don't really feel like anyone's going to be pulling right here, though. Oh, 1,000. Good job, 4,005. That was disgusting. Can I see you again? No comment. Uh, base accuracy, though? What's the base on this? 0.36. That was a... Uh... Wow, Doc. Maybe the movement... What's the accuracy during movement? <laughs> I was moving. Pretty sure that just went through the roof. Uh, and the website actually doesn't say the accuracy during movement. I totally forgot about that. Unless I'm a Muppet and I'm just really blind. I think it's both. Yes, we're going to go both. Anyways, can we aim underneath you? Be a little bit careful here, Rosarante. Um, the PC buff to the Rosarante I think is really cool. I would love to see a console buff for that tank as well with the armor. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but something tells me that might have been a heat round. I don't have any audio currently because it's super loud if I turn it on. But I got the feeling that was a heat. Yeah, that was very blue. Yes. You can, like, if, if you guys aren't used to the way things look, you can kind of tell that heat rounds are flying. There we go. Under armor. And we're going to pull up on the right side here. I want to be a little bit careful. Wow. 380. Not bad, though. Not bad for a tier 10 lineup. Applying a little bit of pressure. Let's see if we can jam his turret. I would love to jam his turret. Nope, we're just going to finish him off. If you aim for the turret ring in some tanks, uh, depending on the way that they're designed, you can jam the turrets, which... I mean, we already know how that's going to go. Forced repair kits, forced everything, make people just waste everything that they have. That way you can pull in a little bit easier, get some better shots off. Some heat. How you doing? I'm going to... That was really close. 279E. Oh, you pushed in. You should have just taken my position and got that little bit of gun depression there. I'm just going to hit a track. Can I get the assist, please? Maybe. Honestly, really weird game. Really weird. I just got 1,300 shell velocity. Looks like that EBR is still up and going. Yes, he is. However, he does not have the view range. That Centurion's still alive. That surprises me. Just gonna throw a blind shot down there. From the mini map, you can kind of calculate and judge. Oh my gosh, where'd that come from? Good job. Take this a little bit slow. Don't want to full on pull here. I actually did not look at the map during the time that EVRU was spotted, so I have no idea if he's a. Uh, Hugging the hill here, or if he's pulling towards me. He's on the hill. Okay. You gonna pull? Or am I gonna try and go after the uh, beach party? Nope, I'm gonna put shots into his side. Should have aimed a little bit better. I do gotta watch out for the hatch, though. The hatch definitely plays against this tank. 
Maybe 160, which is a decently thick hatch, but it's definitely not no 195 like the B2 is and currently we are being aimed at. It's actually the beach party aiming at us. Oh, I'm a Muppet. The AVR is down. I'm just not even paying attention. Do 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 do. Hello. Snap 415. Looks like we're going to pull up the hill right here and back. Let's see if we can get a shot in the uh, EVR. No. Those EVRs and their um, traverse is just nasty on how fast they rotate. Ah. Not enough elevation. I'm locked out right here. I can't aim any higher. <laughs> it's four to five. Okay, let's get back in this. Uh, grill. I wonder what's near me. Be a little bit careful about this pole right here because that Fosh. Awful Panzer Four. Hello. 379. Still want to play a little bit careful. What is the heavy behind me? Kind of on action X. It'd be nice to see if he would take this a little bit slow on the follow. Let's actually see if we can bait a shell. Uh, no baiting, just full penetration. And yeah, the hatch just plays against you. But even though you have this big all hatch, you don't really get to worry about it too much if you play it just right. Come on, Fosh. There we go. What is that medium? I should really pay attention to what's going on. This just tells you guys, like, how out of it I am. All the time. Okay, 0.36 accuracy. There's got to be something to do with um, the movement accuracy. I think that's what's playing against me right now. A light tank is still up and going. Hello, Fosh. How are you today? It seems like you're doing absolute... He's firing heat at a tier 8. Look at the angle. Look at the armor. That is heat. He is so nice to us. We're I'm just a little tier 8. Come on, man. That hurts so much. I mean, I can't say much. I'm firing nothing but premium this match, so... S still. Pain. You know, not a bad lineup, though. 3,666. Ah, Devil's Advocate. 390 blocked. Uh, one mark is on the way. Two marks on the way. Not bad. 1,023 base experience, even though it's on a loss. They base capped us, by the way. Ah, uh, there it is. Accuracy during movement, 2.5. That is absolutely absurd and super bad. So a lot of the shots you want to take inside this tank, don't be moving at all. You want to be completely standstill for a moment, then fire, let your aim time kick in. So yeah, that's 2.5 in with it being fully buffed up. Maybe vertical stabilizers would be nice in this. I might swap out optics for the next match with vertical stabilizers and see how it reacts. Actually, just swapped out improved ventilation for... Uh, vertical stabilizers it dropped it down to 2.05 instead of 2.5 so that might keep a little bit of a tight, tighter spread during movement we'll see how it goes in the match all right so the rule of three your third match is always going to be guaranteed a decent game you're either going to be top tier or against a couple of tier nines as you guys can see i'm top tier however those tier sixes don't seem to be super happy uh tier sevens maybe they feel okay maybe they feel okay uh, speaking of which, I actually completely killed the game audio. There we go. Sorry, I turned it down to watch something while the other match was going. Uh, all audio is like through the same soundboard, so it's kind of like, oh, gotta turn one thing down to hear something else and then readjust it there and then, or mute it. Usually I just mute things, but I wanted to hear some of the game audio that we can hear shots now. I got game audio now. Let's see what this is like. Enemy damage light tank outside the render range. Ooh, nice. Honestly, with the power to wait, uh, terrain resistance is still above 0.1. I think it's like 1.13 on hard terrain. So even on hard terrain, we're still not utilizing that full 16 point whatever it is. 16.92, almost 17 power to wait. We're still not being able to fully utilize it. But we are able to hit top speed. So that's all that matters. Every once in a while. Top speed. Decently fast heavy, and it's huge. This thing's gigantic. And playing this corner down here should be super fine with the way the pike nose is designed. 
and the thickness of it. There we go. A little bit of spotting. I didn't want to drop the um, view range just because dropping view range is a real good way to find yourself getting in a lot of bad situations. Here we go. Artillery is still aiming at us super close. Hello. I'm going to enjoy the crap out of you, aren't I? As long as they bounce. If they continue to bounce, I'll be happy. But oh, that's going to get super annoying. 408. You guys can just imagine how tier 6 is filled with this thing constantly barraging and pinning. Uh, <laughs> it's strange to see ricochets. Or non-penetrations. I'm just going to go ahead and load in the HE and show this artillery a little bit of love. We're not going to pull on the right side. We're actually going to pull up in the top left here. Uh, try and catch him out as he's trying to run. Those things are fast. So you don't want to give them enough time to run. Oh, I don't know about you guys, but they should probably really fix the speed counter on this. Oh, my eyes. And sad face. That aim time. That everything about this gun time. It's a good gun, though. It's a really good gun. But I gotta say, the way that they balanced it out compared to how I thought it was gonna turn out, they did a really good job on it. 12 to 9. Holy crap, this match is going. There we go. Hello, you des. 360, lowest possible, well, not the lowest possible roll, but a very low roll. Setter. 419, good roll. There we go, Astron Rex, hello. Good hit. You guys have spotted off in the distance here. Let's see if we can catch out a very tiny piece of this hatch. Uh-oh. Come on. It's worth a try. Hawk 12. Wow, I don't know about you guys, but this match has just gone by. Jesus, this is is this is this how your guys' matches are going too? Wow. I feel like the tier 10 went better. <laughs> tier 10 went a lot better. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Jesus. Good job. Uh, SC-130 PM, 5 kills, 4,000 damage. He was... I think he went to the hill. He went hill and the name down. A lot of heat pin going down there, too. KV-5 was just a farm by that point. He gets all that heat pin. AMBT taking the hill as well, I believe. And, uh, yeah. That, that's how that goes. It's how the cookie crumbles. Right? Alright, and now, uh... This. The Companzer, um, 07RH. Um, I was gonna play it. But I, I kind of thought about it, and I'm like, that, that's going to be horrible to do, like, a first impression, and then, like, a week later to do a review on the tank. So I'm, I'm just going to save it for the review and go from there. Anyways, uh, another top-tier game, two in a row. That's kind of rare. Speaking of which, the, um, the new 07RH, I have been insta-killed twice inside that tank. And uh, one of them, you guys can already guess, the AVRE. Just immediately within the first, like, minute of the match, I got to a really aggressive position trying to scout out. It did not work. I got spotted way too soon and just went boom. That, that's how that one went. I think right here's going to be a good spot. The second time I died inside of the uh, 07RH was uh, I pulled aggressively on a corner, got shot three times extremely fast. I was just trying to peek and bait some shells, and I overpeaked and overbaited, and I got jabated. Ammo racked and everything. That was fun. T34-3, he's getting to a really aggressive position. I kind of don't want to be right here because I'm going to get... Pins hurt! I jumped. I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but I jumped. That actually scared the crap out of me. 
Oh, wow. Does, does World of Tanks make you guys jump? I swear, it's like a fear factor some days. Oh, wow. I might have to go change out my uh, briefs here in a moment. Oh, that one got me good. And here's why I like view range. There we go. Hello, Tiger131. You, uh... Oh, you're not the Outer Lord. That's the A18. I keep on forgetting. They got so many Tiger variants out. Speaking of which, the Russian 100mm, the... I, I forgot what they called it. Um, actually did not receive any of the turret buffs that the other ones got. There was a couple of Tigers that didn't get it. I mean, I'm totally okay with that, because the tech tree is kind of the one you want to hit. Because you want the tech tree to stand out more. The tech tree does good. The rest of them, totally fine. There we go. We're going to hit the tracks. A little bit of ricochet. I was going to say wait for that repair time, but maybe not. Okay, the R7's out. The Dragon's back. It's so nice to see you, Dragon. I may be wrong about what I guessed on the armor on this. It might be in the range of like 220 to uh, 230 effective. Because Dragon's got 236 standard APCR. Beautiful. They need to stop tanks from smoking and being on fire. It gets real annoying real fast, just because the more they burn, you can't see over them, you can't see through them. And then you kind of find yourself just in a situation like, oh my gosh, I can't do anything against it. That's 175 pen! Oh my gosh, okay. I'm trying to really thread the needle there. It's all about maintaining those angles, though. Driving down the hill like this, I'm definitely making my armor flatter. Easier to hit. Is he not going to want me to thread the needle again? Or at least try to? I, I don't want to pull up. We'll, we'll just sit right here for a second. See if we can get one. A lot of doubt, though. A lot of doubt. No, we're just going to pull up right here. His gun's damaged. Makes me feel a little bit more comfortable. And shell went high. Oh my gosh, how many people does it take? <laughs> there was nothing epic about that victory. If anything, the, the epic victory and the epic this and epic defeat or like heartbreaking defeat... Can, did, can they just remove that? Because there's nothing epic about it. Watching a steamroll, what was epic about it? Nothing was epic about it. Just like this match. Nothing was epic about it. Except for the Astron Rex. Good game. Anyways, guys. Uh, we're not done. I did not get a lot of ricocheted that game. I'm just going to try and rush in and see if I can get a decent match out of this. I'm going to go crazy. And then I'll just show you guys the results. Maybe, maybe some of the gameplay. But I hate making videos longer than 30 minutes. Because it's outrageously long. There's no point in going that long, but ooh, almost feels like it'd be better off streaming in between them. I doubt there's going to be any blocking this match, but fingers crossed. I'm going to try this really hard. Love to Rans. Well, anyways, guys, um, not much to say. Originally, I thought the sink was going to be extremely powerful, but it turns out it's actually better against tens than it is against its own tier. Uh, don't don't ask why it is that I perform better against 10s than I do against 8s. Is it speed? Is it lockdown positions? Who knows? It is what it is, though. Other than that, you guys, thank you for jumping in. Thanks for watching. Um, Bean, 10 games. I'm just going to say it. 10. 10. I want to see 10. Not 2. 10. Uh, maybe 20. Add a 0 to that. 0. Nice. Anyways, guys, thank you. Um, hopefully you've been enjoying the daily content that I've been trying to put out. I know I had a couple of days I skipped. I wasn't feeling super good last night. I felt really like crap and I just slept. 
and got some more sleep today. My voice is still a little bit lost. You guys, I don't know if you can even tell. My nose is uh, stuffed, but it, I'm a bit under the weather. Uh, but, you know, stuff clears up. Other than that, catch you guys in the next one. Um, Eyes 3A. More, more Pike no ca a action. A recommendation from someone the other day that I didn't get to. And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll hit it by Eyes 3A tomorrow. Till then, I'm just going to go slack off and put more games in the RH. Yeah.